Now, there is very, very few things, frankly, that wind me up more than 20 mile per hour zones. Oh, I have been caught out twice now in my little car. That's right. Uh, I was doing 20 miles, well, over 20 miles per hour in a 20 mile per hour zone inadvertently creeping out of the outer boroughs of London and so had to do one of those tedious three hour driver safety courses. Um, and then I drive like a nana now. I put on my uh, speed limiter because I'm determined not to get points on my license. And I put on my little speed limiter, but my car doesn't actually allow me to apply the speed limiter to 20 miles per hour. It can't actually, I don't know what it's an engine compression or something. It just won't allow the car to be regulated at that lower speed. So all you can do is stare at the speedometer. And yet, usually these 20 mile per hour zones, especially if you're driving out of London, are in all the sorts of parts of the world where you really need to be paying a lot of attention because there's kids running around, there's you know, this tullabaloo, you know, Uber scooters going everywhere and just madness. And so I found a, a little letter came through my door saying I was doing 25 in a 20 the other day. And I was like, for in hell's sake. Uh, I'm pretty annoyed about it. And so I've decided I'm going to take it to court. That's right. I'm not going to just sign up for the three points. They're going to have to prove it to me uh, because I just think the whole lot is a nonsense. Let's speak to Bob Bull, former chair of the Alliance of British Drivers. Well, it turns out Labour uh, could turn all of Birmingham into a 20 mile per hour zone under their plans, an entire city. Um, I mean, this is just ridiculous. If this was just a cash cow, that would be one thing. If they were fining people 100 quid left, right and centre. But I think it's outrageous that in many cases they're giving people three points in their licence for doing something that, frankly, I would say isn't dangerous. It's probably being aware of the road, paying attention to what you're doing instead of staring at a speedometer. Yeah, I mean, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bob, yeah. tell me. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, I totally agree with you. I mean, 20s were meant to be for a danger zone. And so they were around schools, they were around hospitals, they were around particularly difficult traffic areas. Once you make them blanket, they don't have an effect at all. Everybody just drives at the same speed, a ridiculously slow speed. I mean, one of the cars I got is it does 20 miles an hour at tick over. I mean, it, it's just absolutely crazy. When you had 30, when you then approached the 20, you knew there was some reason for it, a school or a hospital or children playing, that sort of thing. Once you do blanket 20 everywhere, nobody, no, people just turn off. And that's what, I mean, it's like you say, people go over the 20 because they just turn off. I mean, you can't do it. I don't believe it's possible to do it. So I've got an, an automatic car. A lot of people these days drive an automatic. They don't, uh, they don't have a manual car. And I think with a manual car, when you're changing a gear, going from second up to third, is you know, you've got the biting point somewhere around that. Or probably it was more third to fourth, maybe, going from 20 up to 30. But with an automatic car, and a modern one, where they're very good, actually, and the gear changes, you wouldn't even notice it's happening. It's not like the old clunky ones of the past. With far bigger engine capacities, I just don't believe it's possible to maintain 20 miles per hour. So essentially, people are being fleeced for something that they can't avoid doing that's right yeah i mean as i said uh, uh, i've got a jag and, and that does 20 miles an hour it tick over you know you could, otherwise you've got your foot on, foot on the brake all the time i mean it's just crackers it's, it's stupid and they don't actually work either i mean i live near bristol on the bath which is a nearby city actually did a report on their 20 mile an hour zones and showed that it was worse accidents were worse yeah and so they said well we can't afford to take the signs out so it'll have to stay yeah they would I be mean, because you're going to be so bizarre. preoccupied with trying to go 20 miles per hour it's a bit like playing that game of operation isn't it where you've got like <laughs> yeah. you know the wire yeah. thing and you're trying not to make it buzz you'll be so obsessed with trying to you know go at 20 miles per hour and not break the speed limit that you're going to be driving over mrs miggins pulling her groceries along in one of those little shopping trolleys i don't get it um let's talk yeah. now about these uh, you know electric cars basically registered after april the first we know electric cars are a 
load of money. It's why nobody's buying them. It's why the automotive sector in the UK and Germany is going down the pan. Um, but now, apparently, because most of them cost more than 40 grand, they'll be joining other uh, vehicles and being liable for additional vehicle excise duty, uh, otherwise a luxury car tax. So even if you want to do what the government insists you should be doing, which is buying electric vehicles, you're going to be taxed for it. Extra. Well, yeah, I mean, they've lost complete control of the taxation of motoring, whether it be the stupid talk about pay per mile or all the things that are going on with electric cars. But I mean, the 40K, it's not even an electric car issue. It's a common sense issue. It was brought in in 2017. At that point in time, a standard sort of three series BMW was about 30 grand. And that was a, an average car that, you know, a, a family or a, a trade or salesperson might be running. To buy the same car now is £40,224. So immediately they're paying thousands of pounds more for a pretty straightforward two-litre family car. It's crackers. They just don't want us to drive, do they? That's the only that's the only conclusion I come to. With every single measure they put in place, I feel I get more prosecutions for accidentally being in a box or accidentally being photographed because I stuck in a traffic jam and my front wheels went just over a line at some traffic lights or I've gone 24 miles per hour in a 20 mile per hour zone that I'm constantly the one under the cosh getting letters from the police while people are going around mugging people and carrying zombie knives. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, what they've done is all the traffic stuff is now done by cameras. There's no traffic police out on the road monitoring the standard of driving. It's all done by cameras. So it's, as you say, either boxes, white lines or speed. And probably on most of the fines, no humans touch it. It goes straight in, goes through the AI, probably computer system and sends you a letter and says, please give us some money. Yeah, well, they sent me one of those letters and like I said, it said, oh, please reply to, you know, this and accept the three points and send me the photographs going, is this you driving the car? I'm not going to play silly, you know, silly games that it wasn't me driving a car and, you know, things like that. Yes, it's my car. I'm the only person who drives it. Fine. I'm not going to try and pretend someone else is behind the wheel. But when they said, will you accept three points and reply to this to say yes or otherwise we'll uh, give you a court summons, I've just gone fine. I'll see you in court then, because I just, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't actually come up with a strategy for what I'm going to say or do. But I thought, do you know what? It's worth fighting it, because this stuff is a nonsense. Uh, Bob, thank yeah. you ever so much. Bob Ball, former chair of the Alliance of British Drivers.